Craig, what's the build up been like for this one? Eh, pretty similar to usual. We had a few days off at the start of the week. We trained Wednesday. Gaffer obviously had his hearing yesterday, so he wasn't in. And uh, Aldi took the training session, so no. Been pretty similar. We'll train today and uh, be ready for Sunday. Obviously, a lot of speculation about the manager's position. Yeah. Who's your take on it? That's what it is, it? It's football, we're used to it. Uh, if he gets it, it's a. Massive honour for himself. Um, I could, I can understand the appeal. Certainly, there it is a huge job and it's a great chance for him. So if it is, then hopefully it takes me, gives me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was talking about your chances last week. Aye, you exactly. Um, so I, he's put himself under pressure. Then he talked it up last week. <laughs> no, I'm. Um, we're just focused on Sunday, and then as of, after Sunday, we'll probably get a bit more clarity. I imagine. Can you just tell us the, the impact he's had? On your career? Oh, I can't speak highly enough of him every time I do this, I think I do, so I don't want to be doing it too much, but no, he's been brilliant for me, um, he's taken my game to another level, certainly, he's uh, took most boys' games to another level, but for me personally, um, I've improved a lot and I'm very grateful to him because, because of what he said last week, I mean, you're one of the, the few guys that might actually be thinking, oh, well, maybe he's so bad <laughs> if he did get a Scotland job, anyway, who's your Scotland prospects? He's obviously got a lot of faith in you. I, like the gaffer, certainly since he came in, he's, I've not really missed many games under him, so I definitely think him well liked by him and we've got a good relationship, so regardless of whether it's here or if it's Scotland or if it's wherever it is, um, I'd like to think that you never know, if, I'd like to keep working with him in the future, so wherever that is in. It can only be positive. You obviously get your nomination for the Young Player of the Year award. No, I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to mention that. How much uh, has his influence got? Uh, no, in the individual accolades are really good. Like the one the Young Player here, the Commander here, and things like that. But no, these mean a lot. But there's a lot, like 11 of us, or more, 14, whatever. Like It's been a great squad, and I think that's probably what we've built here at Commander because we, we work well within a team. It's down to him, of course. It's his tactics, etc. But uh, these honours and getting nominated for such things, it's, uh, it's nice at the end of the season to know you've done something right. You've played through the age group levels with Scotland. Where do you think the manager has his abilities that could transfer potentially into international world? I think straight away we'd have a shape. I, um, he's done that here. Like it would be hard to beat. So. That gives you any basis in any game if you're hard to beat. If you're not conceding goals, then you've got half a chance in the game. So I think certainly it'd be an eye-opener to the boys if he did get that job because um, on the training field, his tactics and etc. spot on. So no, I think it could only be positive for Scotland. Have you played under Scott Gamble, under 21? Yeah. Because he's another name in the frame. What are his qualities? And Again, the they're probably... Di well, they're different in their own ways, they're both two great coaches, they both like to be hands on on the training pitch, Scott again, similar to the gaffer is um, one big get against the bigger teams when we've been at our youth level, he he's, again sets you up well, so no, again he's another worthy candidate, he's done a great job at the 21s and he was a, a good manager for me at the 21s, so no, I liked under, working under himself as well. What's the chatter been like in the, in the dressing room regarding all the speculation with the manager? I think just boys are like find it funny to be honest. Like the boys are like no one knows anything, so like you, you can read what you want and all that. But at the end of the day, we know as little as you do probably at the moment. So until we get pulled into a meeting, or if the gaffer pulls us whatever before or etc. But uh, just now, no, it's just boys having a back crack about it. Is there a worry one way or the other now about a legacy, given what you've built up here? If the manager wasn't to be here for whatever reason, another job, or wanted to move back down south, is, it, is that a, a concern? Um, what I'd say is the gaffer's built good foundations now. We've got a solid group of 15, 16 players all signed up, so regardless what happens with the manager, he's certainly put it in place for the next person, if, the, if that so be it comes in, um, to have a good starting base, certainly better than when he took over, so that can only be a positive for the club and for whoever. Obviously you said happy to work with him whether it's international level or here, is there a few of the guys that are maybe desperate for him to, to stay here because that's their only chance of working with him? Um, yeah, probably. Um, there's boys that aren't Scottish and he's not linked to any other international job, so uh, <laughs> aye, aye, <laughs> true. Um, so I definitely, I think everyone that probably comes up and does the press speaks highly of him because even the boys that aren't playing are learning every day, he, he, he takes interest in every single player, so yeah, definitely, I think the boys will be desperate for him to stay. Steve Stephen 
who else would you sort of day to day if he was to go to the national team he would be you know, only seeing players every six weeks, two months or so I mean, do you think his methods can transfer into having that, that shorter time frame and he can still make a success for himself without having the same length of time to train with guys? Yeah, I do because he's very hands on on the training pitch so when you get the time together I'm only speaking from when I went away with 21s but it's very intense so I think that would suit him being able to get what he needs to in the short space of time, so uh, no, I don't think that'll be a problem for the gaffer. To be fair, Greg, uh, you're just talking there about you know the leaps and bounds you've had under Steve Clark. Any specific examples, maybe tactics or like something part of your game that's changed? Um, I think it probably all of it. Like um, when to attack, when not to attack. I was always like maybe knowing not when to get dragged out of position, staying in position, etc. And just every wee small detail in my game is went that step up, up, step up, so that can only help me for the future, so I'm very grateful to that. So just like your position? Just Positionally, I, all of it I would say genuinely, probably, apart from technical stuff because he can't really affect that, but like tactically every little bit he's improved. Is it going to be strange not having him in the dressing room before the game, half time, immediately after the game? Um, the gaffer's not a shouter or a screamer, so it, it, Aldi is more than capable and he's assistant manager, so um, no, I don't think it'll be too different. He doesn't say a lot, he just, he'll just he probably do his pre-match meal, at the pre-match meal he'll do his team meeting then, so we'll know all our information by Sunday, so it won't be too much an issue. And I'd ask Alex Dyer, it'd be a good send-off for the players, having almost the majority of the fans, um, the Kilmarnock fans. Yeah. But if it were to be Steve's last game, it'd be a good send-off for him as well, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Well, third's now in our hands. We've got the chance to go and do it. And I think I read somewhere today that the first time come on it came third since 1960 or so. Hi. So what an achievement that would be. So the, the, all the boys are focused on hopefully going and getting that. So it'd be a great achievement. And you could still get the European spot. At uh, of then course. Further than you guaranteed. Yeah, exactly. You never know what will happen in the cup final. It's a one-off game, so you don't want to be relying on other people for that. So. If we can hopefully go and put on a performance on Sunday, and whether that gets us to third or not, as long as we can please the fans. If you think back two years to when Steve came in, at that point do you think getting in a third place finish and getting in Europe, would that ever have been a possibility before? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we had what, eight points or, so, or three points for eight games or something, so no, I don't think we did. I think we were, it was not on the agenda. But then once we gradually picked up points, and as the way last season went, we didn't. You don't know where it could come, and we started off well this season again, and uh, it just kept going. So, was belief a, l a large part of what he's, he's brought to, to the. I th the gaffer's brought it, but also winning games has brought that. Once you start winning games, you have confidence. It's it, it seems the hardest thing to do when you're not winning games, but see, once you get on a run and a bit of momentum carries, and it it seems to be. You, you, at times, we felt this season where we could went on the games, knowing we were going to get the three points. So the gaffer certainly helped that, but also the results have helped that. How different a team are Rangers to the one that came back here in, in February? Um, don't know. <laughs> not played them. <laughs> we'll see. Come Sunday, hopefully not. As, hopefully we get a result. Hopefully not as good as us. But, um, recent results have sort of shown that they're oh, no. pretty impressive. Aye, they? what are they? And won the last five or six, six games. Aye, exactly. So that speaks for itself. That's a great record. And um. They'll be hoping to finish their season strongly. I do want to be coming here to not win, put it that way. So now um, they'll uh, be wanting to come and get us three points.